next we see the equation of ellipse first let's draw the standard ellipse out here x axis y axis and the ellipse now for this ellipse we know that the extremities are a a dash b and b dash and we know that the coordinates of a are a0 and the coordinates of a dash are minus a and 0. So let's draw a tangent at a that is a comma 0 and clearly we know that the tangent out here say so this is t1 is perpendicular to x axis clearly this will be a perpendicular to x axis and similarly a tangent drawn out here is perpendicular to x axis here which makes us understand that the the line which is perpendicular to the tangents t1 and t2 and passing through a and a dash is nothing but x axis giving us the same conclusion as in case of b and b dash which says that for this circle s equal to 0 equation of normal normal at a and a dash is given by x axis or y equals 0 is how I conclude the x axis. So in this case of equation of normal is x, e x axis or y equal to 0 in the previous case it was x equal to 0. Therefore, in general conclusion for a, any other ellipse which is not standard, if I have my y coordinate as 0, I get my normal as x axis. Therefore, y1 equal to 0 implies the normal is x axis or y equal to 0. Is how I conclude the normal in general case. x1 equal to 0 implies the normal is y axis. y1 equal to 0 implies the normal is x axis. That's how we understand the concept of special cases connected with equation of normal. Now let's see the equation of tangent in parametric form. Now that we have discussed about parametric equations of ellipse or the parametric point on the ellipse, let's connect the equation of tangent with the parametric point. Now we know that if suppose I have equation of tangent which I need to find in parametric form. So let's see how we can find equation of tangent in parametric form. So let's take the tangent and its ellipse in standard form. So I have my ellipse out here. And let me have the tangent out here. So this is the tangent t which touches the ellipse. So let me say the tangent touches the ellipse at p of theta. Now this being the parametric point, we know that the parametric point p of theta is given by a cos theta and b sin theta assuming theta lies between 0 and 2 pi. And let me say equation of ellipse is s equal to 0. Then Assuming on S, we know the standard form of S is x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared minus 1 equal to 0. Of course, here a greater than b. So therefore, 
equation of tangent at the parametric point with respect to the ellipse s equal to 0 is simply given by x cos theta by a plus y sin theta by b equals 1 is how I conclude the equation of tangent. Therefore, equation of tangent t at the po parametric point p of theta is given by x cos theta by a plus y sin theta by b equal to 1 with theta ranging from 0 to 2 pi is how we understand the equation of tangent in parametric form. Now similarly, let's see the equation of normal in parametric form. So as that we have discussed about equation of tangent in parametric form, similarly, let's identify the equation of normal in parametric form using the parametric point P of theta. So here is the ellipse in standard form. And I have, say, the tangent t at this parametric point p of theta. <coughs> the here is the parametric point, which is the point of contact of tangent with this. Then clearly, the normal is. is a line which is perpendicular to this at this point p of theta. Now we have to find the equation of this normal using the parametric point p of theta which is possible by taking the equation of ellipse as s equal to 0 that is s is x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared minus 1 equal to 0 and of course a is greater than b. So let's see how we can get the equation of normal. Equation of normal at the parametric point p of theta with respect to the ellipse s equal to 0 is simply given by the equation of this normal as ax by cos theta minus b y by sin theta equals a square minus b square but with the condition that theta is not equal 0 pi by 2 pi and 3 pi by 2 the reason is if this is if theta is 0 I get this at this point theta is 0 and at this point we say theta is pi by 2 and at this point theta is pi and at this point theta is 270 that is 3 pi by 2 and here it is 0 or 2 pi. Therefore clearly we see that if the parametric point is theta is 0 then the y x axis will be the normal that is for theta equal to 0 or pi implies the normal is x-axis or y equal to 0 is how we identify this. And therefore, when theta is pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2, the normal is y-axis. That is, theta is pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2 implies the normal is y-axis as can be clearly seen here and that is x equals 0. This is how we understand the difference between the special cases and the general equation of normal which is given by ax by cos theta minus by by sin theta equals a square minus b square at this parametric point p of theta with these two being 
the special cases. It is mathematically proved that there are four normals which can be drawn from a point to the ellipse s equal to zero. So for example, I have an ellipse out here and if I have a point P x1 y1 then at the most there are four normals because there are tangent which pass through one point is how we identify this is normal one So we identify that there are totally four normals which can be drawn. If suppose I assume this to be tangent 1 and I assume this to be tangent 2, then this is normal 2. And if I assume this to be tangent 3, then I have this to be normal 3. And this is tangent 4, then this is normal 4. Is how we understand totally four normals which can be drawn through the point at the most. So 1, n1, n2, n3 and n4. So from a point P, x1, y1, I can at the most draw 1, 2, 3, and uh, four. So these are the four normals which I can draw from a point P, X1, Y1 at the most. So therefore, the property says that four normals can be drawn at most from P, X1, Y1 to the ellipse s equal to zero. That's how we identify the, the properties of normals from a point P, X1, Y1. So at most, there can be four normals. It can be either one, two, three, or four. But not necessarily that it should be four. It should be either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 normals which I can draw for the ellipse is how we understand the properties connecting the number of normals from a point P, X1, Y1. Director circle. Now let's see how a director circle is obtained from an ellipse. Now see here if suppose I have an ellipse and I take the pair of tangents which are perpendicular to each other, say my pair of tangents from here and here are perpendicular with this one pair being out here. And similarly, let me take another point from where the two tangents are perpendicular each other. So the pair of tangents which are perpendicular, the locus forms a circle around the ellipse. It forms a circle around the ellipse. And this locus of all pairs of tangents which are perpendicular with respect to the ellipse is said to be a director circle. So director circle is the locus of all the points of intersection of the perpendicular tangents. One of them being P, Q, R, etc. So all the pairs of tangents which are perpendicular 
the points of intersections are joined then it forms a circle called the director circle and director circle is said to be with equation connected with the circle and very important point a center of ellipse and center of director circle are same that is they are concentric so center of director circle is equal to center of ellipse is how we identify and next I identify that radius of director circle is root a square plus b square where this is the standard ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to zero so is how we understand the properties of director circle now let's see how we can find the equation of director circle therefore if i have my x axis and y axis and if i have my ellipse out here we know that the center of this ellipse is 0 comma 0 and this equation is given by x square plus y square equals to 0 that is s given by x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 equal to 0 with a greater than b now for this we have the director circle which gets connected with the circle with the ellipse so i have my director circle which is concentric with the center of ellipse therefore center is origin and radius is root a square plus b square implies equation of director circle is given by x square plus y square equals a square plus b square is the equation of director circle is given by x square plus y square equals a square plus b square and if i take any point on the director circle that means i can draw two tangents to the ellipse and then i can draw two tangents to the ellipse t1 and t2 which are always perpendicular to each other is how we understand the director circle connected with the ellipse when i draw two tangents from a point on the director circle those two tangents act as perpendicular tangents to the ellipse is how we see the connection of director circle with the ellipse equation x square plus y square equals a square plus p square